Welcome to GMA and GPA Adventures do Allerton Park today. The Allerton Park is near Monticello, Illinois. The real pretty uh, lane that you're like going down, it's like an all wooded lane. This way to the main parking lot, Mansion, Visitor Center, Cafe. We'd heard that the cafe was closed on Mondays. There's a nice big parking lot here and there's other parking places around the area. So we're here and we're gonna walk back to the mansion. It's actually closed right now. Maybe we can come up sometime where we could get a tour inside the mansion. It says hotel and event guests only beyond this point. Some plants. I wonder if you can climb all the way to the top of that. So it was built in 1900 by Robert Allerton. So you can stay here and the Allerton Park has become a place for meetings, weddings, other events. It's very beautiful here. And at the side of the mansion there's a pond over here and another really pretty wooded area and open field over there. Wish we had some fish food. Yeah, there's a bunch of little fish down there. I like that sign. The millionaire doesn't live here anymore. Donate today. And there's a way you can do it. Or you can go online, it says, to allerton.illinois.edu. There's a koi pond here. Whoa, that's a big yellow one. On this side of the house is the bowling lawn. This big grassy area here. And there's a garden area on the side of the mansion too. You can go in this garden. It says gates are for deer control. There's the foo dog statue. Some raspberries. So this area is known today as the Avenue of the Formal Gardens. It was designed in 1902 by John Borey and to connect the house and the formal gardens. That shows you what it looked like in 1915. And that's what it looks like today. And up here, that's what it looked like in 1915, and that's what it looks like today. And where are you taking me to in these woods? On the other side of the pond. Okay. Ooh, about trip there. There's a pathway around it. So here's the, I would call it an all-weather dome, where like in the winter time you could go in there and eat or drink or just bird watch. So you can actually bring a picnic lunch and eat over here on one of these benches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven benches. Oh, eight, nine. There's nine benches. They're everywhere. Oh, and there's two more. There's 11. So here's the sign that just says Allerton. And it's in the meadow. This is just like a little picture spot. Oh, there's a cute little cherub statue on the top. This is the view of the mansion from this side of the little pond. And across from the mansion, in the water over here, it is a big stone monument. It says Robert Allerton. He gave his woodland home to the University of Illinois for the people to enjoy and to enrich their lives. So this whole Allerton Park was donated to the University of Illinois. There's a bench right beside of the pond too, so you can sit there and look out over the water at a nice view of the mansion. Allerton Park has 14 miles of hiking trails and over a hundred garden ornaments spread around the grounds. This is the entrance to the brick wall garden with the two sea maiden statues at the top. The mansion and the pond were that way and we just walked over this way to the brick wall garden. This is a very pretty area. This is some lavender as you first walk in and it's a favorite of the bumblebees. Everything's really beautiful here with the hedges and the statues and then the plants on the sides of the brick wall. All kinds of different plants here. This is a dwarf apple tree. They've got several trees growing on the sides of the brick wall. 
Very cool how they did that. The walled garden was designed by John Borey in 1900 and 1902. It's the oldest of the formal gardens here. It was a vegetable garden meant to supply the occupants of the house with fresh produce. Fruit trees were trained to grow against the wall, espalier fashion. Warmth from the enclosed walls was needed to ripen the fruit. So now we're going to walk in this part of the garden. Ooh, there's a clematis vine. Let's see if we can get up close so you can see how pretty that purple flower is right there. Some tiny yellow roses, some pink roses. And here's the square parterre garden. It has some big vase-like sculptures in the middle. There's the greenhouse over here. And there's like a little cafe on this other side where you can normally get something to eat or drink. There it is, greenhouse cafe. There's some artwork here on the walls. This one's all that glitters, queen of chaos. Ooh, this is pretty. Floating flowers. Oh, and they're probably actually for sale because there's a price tag right there beside them. There's some more hedges right here. Oh, there is gravel, so I bet there I bet there's been little kids that have ran through here because look, there's a path. There's a giant fish sculpture right in the middle. And then there's all these tiny little hedges. There's what it looked like in 1925. And here's what it looked like in 1944. And then, of course, there's what it looks like today. There's a hosta right there. We'll walk through these. Show them the different hostas. There's different variation. Those are hostas. That's a hosta. That must be a hosta. Ooh, that's a pretty one. It's kind of a lime green. There's more. Big giant one. And then here at the back of the Hosta Garden is a bench. There's the woods right there behind it. So you can like sit here and enjoy the Hostas. And these musicians, they're all playing a different instrument. There's like 12 statues. One. He's got a big grin on his face. He's enjoying the music. And we're stepping into the sunken garden now. It's right off the end of the avenue of the Chinese musicians. And it's a beautiful open area. And benches with concrete fish on either side. Several statues on this one. They look to be a cross between fish and dragons. But I think they're supposed to be fish. And you can walk out that way onto some trails, that way as well. But we're going to walk back into the gardens. They have some plants that we've never seen before in our lives. And we're old. And did you say we're old? Yeah, we're old. Yeah, you would have think we would have seen everything by now. But I know. That's new. There's several unusual types of plants here. And these are part of the seasonal gardens where they change what's planted each season. This is the annual garden. It's behind a gate, so we can go in, but we have to make sure we shut the gate behind us. They planted that in the shape of a butterfly. And this shows different butterflies that are common to Illinois. So maybe at certain times of the year, there's a lot of butterflies attracted to this part of the garden. Thanks for watching, and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications, and give us a thumbs up. Yep. Make sure you comment if you've been here, right? That's right. We had a great time here. We think you would, too. And we probably spent how many hours do you think here? Just two? Probably a couple hours walking yeah. around and looking at everything. There's a lot to see. I wanted to take a lot of pictures. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.